thought, finally, we are going to address the biggest scandal in American democracy that we are currently having right now, which is the extraordinary corruption and wholesale purchase of members of the Supreme Court. I also find it amusing that we just heard from the Republican side, oh, why do we want to talk about this? Because women have lost the right to choose, because indigenous people have lost rights, because minorities have lost rights, because working people across the country have lost rights due to this level of corruption. According to ProPublica's reporting, Justice Alito was flown on a private jet on this luxury trip, and if he had chartered a similar jet, it would have cost more than $100,000 each way, a hundred grand. Now, Professor Clark, with the cost of about $100,000 per flight, would Justice Scalia be required to disclose this trip? Um, I believe it, you're referring to Justice Alito. Alito, yes. And yes, uh, under the Ethics in Government Act, would be, disclosure would be required. And did he? My understanding is that he did not. He did not. The billionaire who generously sponsored this trip, Paul Singer, did business before the court at least 10 times in cases where the legal press and mainstream media often covered his role. So it was publicly known that he had business before the court. And in 2014, in fact, Justice Samuel Alito, along with the court, agreed to resolve a vital issue in a decades-long battle between Singer's hedge fund and the nation of Argentina. Do you know if Alito recused himself from this case? I believe he did not. He did not recuse himself from this case. And in fact, he used his seat on the Supreme Court after all of this to rule in Singer's favor. And following the decision, Mr. Singer's hedge fund was ultimately paid $2.4 billion because of this ruling. Not a bad return on investment for a uh, fishing trip there.